so it begins. Echo Cave. Better outside. <laughs> could you guys do three stories on the road? I could. I'd have the whole top awesome. level. The whole top. Welcome to season seven. We are taking the day to tour Universal and we're gonna catch you guys up on what we've been doing. This is not gonna be a how-to on Universal because we are definitely winging it. Absolutely. Uh, you know how we love movies, so this is why we're starting here. Uh, today is really just gonna be about um, Hogwarts. That's right, we're gonna or check out the, wizard the Wizarding, wizarding world, world of Harry. Harry. So right. the girls are super excited, we're super excited. So uh, we'll catch you guys up. Lily, what do you think? Oh. Creature, he opens the thing and he looks like as big as me. Oh, through one of the windows yeah, or something? Yeah, I filmed it. I got it. That's terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Did you get it? Yep. Look. But look at this triple decker. Can you imagine? Look at the square footage on the road. Square footage? <laughs> well, the beds are like an RV. It's got beds three there. stories. Could you guys do three stories on the road? I could. Three I'd stories. have the whole top awesome. level. The whole <laughs> top level. Oh, the penthouse? Lily gets the penthouse? Is that what we just decided? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, this is Diagon Alley. The whole point was to get here early so it wasn't full of people. Layla did a lot of the playing of this for she us. Did everything. Oh. Oh, God. yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is awesome. Not only did Layla research what we're doing today, but she also looked up all the secret things. If you don't know, there are actually little secret things that you can find in Diagon Alley all across like the wizarding world. So we're gonna find some secret things. I got a little scared and switched the mode. <laughs> We're gonna have to film that again because I wrecked that. What a wimp. I like scared you. I just like dragons. He's dragon person. I blew it up. Oh my god. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, so we are jumping on the train to Hogsmeade and we're going to head over to the other side of Harry Potter, which is actually in Universal Islands of Adventure. So it's park to park. There's two different sections that you can go see of Harry Potter. What are we Potter. trying to do though? Harry Potter Forbidden Journey. It's a ride. The, What'd the, you say? The Harry Potter Forbidden Journey is the ride that we're trying to get on in the morning before it gets too busy. Okay. All right, let's get on the train.
Look at that. That's awesome. Amazing. This is my kind of snow. Fake, but it looks pretty. Fake, but pretty. <laughs> Moaning Myrtle, like whining and crying in the bathroom the whole time we were in there. It's hilarious. That is hilarious. It's so funny. Every single detail is covered. Lily, <laughs> Lily, she's always ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> The boy who lived, the boy who survived by the seat of his pants is more like it. And what is easy? Here's the rule. You're about to enter the defense against the Dark Arts Club. Keep your voices down. Everyone's going to be fine, but let's make this quick. One really cool thing that you can do when you're in Hogsmeade is you can send a letter as long as you have a U.S. stamp from the Owl Post and they'll actually mail it and stamp it that it comes from Hogsmeade in Harry Potter to whoever you want to send it to. So we're going to send a letter to Nanny. We're all going to write something and send it through Owl Post. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank That's you. awesome. Have a great day. Thank you. Hey, Nanny. Hey, Nanny. Hey, Nanny. Hey, Nanny. Hey, Nanny. Oh, that's awesome. What? Hello? 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 <laughs> Echo Cave. Better outside. Better outside. <laughs> this is the time where like he's in the Jeep and it like fans out. All right, so this is Jurassic Park, and uh, it's harder to film here than I was thinking it was going to be. This is very Mostly loud. It's very loud. There's and music busy. all the time. So but. this is the this is the Universal version of Jurassic Park, which is very cool. But we still prefer the Fern Canyon version of Jurassic Park. The nature yeah. version. <laughs> oh man, can you climb up there? I don't know. We can huh. find out. There's um, there's a lot to look at. It's pretty awesome. Usually when Corey asks, can we do that, can we climb something, the, the answer is usually no. Yeah, I think the answer is yes. <laughs> Don't split up, that's the number one rule. Oh my god. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Alright, see? You can climb it. Yep, you can. Whoa, sandals. <laughs> I think that's climbing gear on. Climbing sandals? Yep, it's climbing sandals. This is pretty cool.
<laughs> Ooh, fast and furious. I'm hoping that this will look really cool at night. Oh, uh, let's see if I don't get scared this time. Are there like bones in it and stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Holy cow, that is a it's lot of chocolate. Lot of, I gotta open it. Wow. I guess you gotta rip it. That's awesome. Which one did you I get? Got, what did you get underneath? Dude. I have no idea. It's a Oh, that's cool. It's a hologram. Yeah. Oh my god. It's solid. It is solid chocolate. <laughs> Let me wait it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Ten seconds later. Lily's still gnawing on her frog butt. <laughs> Mom's trying to get us some butter beer. Yeah. We gotta try that. Yeah. Layla's doing more research for us. <laughs> We're just here. See if you can get the face off. You're gonna lose a tooth. <laughs> you can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Took us all day, but we finally found some butter beer. We did. And we opted for the frozen, so there's a slushy version and there's a soda version. And I'm all things slushy, so so good. I heard that it was a mix between cream soda and like butterscotch, and that is like a very valid description. So it's like whipped cream on the top. Oh, I thought you were It's so good. So we mentioned trying to catch you guys up on a few things uh, yesterday. Um, I, I way overstimulated yesterday. So <laughs> we just overestimated how crazy it is and how loud it is and 
how fast paced we were going to be moving through the park is. and how much fun it is. Um, so there wasn't a good time for us to do this. So in between seasons, there are things that happen that we do not vlog all the time, but there are a couple things between season six and seven that we did want to share with you guys. So we're going to take this time to do our quick update where it's not so loud and crazy. So after visiting our friends, Nathan and Marissa from Less Junk More Journey in Tennessee, we headed to go and see Corey and Brooke from Wandering Weekends. They are fellow Grand Design ambassadors and we got to like hang out with them for the weekend, which was so much fun. Yeah. While we were there, Corey was actually doing a collaboration with uh, Lane's Barbecue. You guys know how much I love to the barbecue. Uh, so I was able to get in on the action. They were doing some filming for both of their channels. I had catfish tacos for the very first time. I fully expected to not like them, but it was basically like the best taco I've ever had. I literally didn't stop hearing about it for a long time. And we time. just cooked meat all day. What the heck? We were hanging out at the campground just cooking meat. Like it's, it was perfect. Um, Brooke, you and I need to go to this next time, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> so not only are their, their rubs good, um, what I really like from them is their sort of white sauce. But after that, um, really the important thing that we did was we were able to go over and be part of my brother's pinning ceremony. He's stationed at Fort Bragg uh, in the Army, and I had the honor of pinning his new rank of sergeant on. Uh, I, I can't really say what that felt like just because... I was, you know, prior military and just being able to be part of that service, uh, it was really special to me. Um, it, just, it was special to all of us. It was really important for us to be able to be there for Evan. And just, it was it, really good for the girls to be able to see that process as well. Like they yeah. never got to see any of those ceremonies when he was in the military. So I think that was really special for them as well. To hear Evan's superiors talk about him, yeah. um, just to see that part of his life. I, I know I'm part of his life, but to see that part of his life. And while we were in Fayetteville visiting Evan at Fort Bragg, uh, we ended up getting to have a little mini meetup with some FOS crew members, and obviously there were donuts and coffee involved. We had such an awesome time, so thank you for everyone who came out to meet. Not only do we love getting to meet our crew members, but we love when they are getting to meet each other and the connections that are made there, so that was really special for us. And now we are moving into season seven, which opposite of what we did in season six, where we did like most of the West Coast and then did our Portland to Portland trek across the entire country, we are doing the East Coast in season seven, uh, starting in Florida. And we are so excited to share some really fun things with you guys. There are some exciting things coming up. Yeah, we and... have a couple more episodes in Florida, but I am... There's brand new stuff that we're going to do, and I'm really excited about it. Even being from the East Coast, there we got some cool stuff coming up, so can't wait to share. Today we are headed to the other Universal Park. We are going to Volcano Bay, and after 12 miles of walking through the parks yesterday, <laughs> we're ready to just sit in the sun and chill in the water. So we're going to... We might even go to Disney. I know. There's. We may go and check out some fireworks tonight over at the castle, so... Anyways, we're going to get changed. Let's go. So we're at the Thousand Trails in Orlando. We're actually in the very first site we've ever been in here. Uh, it's a beautiful so cool. site. We love it here. So oh. cool to be back. It brings back so many memories. Like four years ago, we had just started this journey and we were meeting our first like and standing, actual friends on the road in this site. It's standing just so right where we were right now. It's crazy. <laughs> Maintenance Garbage. first. Garbage. Garbage time. All right. I told everybody you guys were excited. For what today? You were lying. lying. You were lying. <laughs> <laughs> I was what more excited about today. at Volcano Bay? Um, yes. What is it? A lazy river. A lazy river. Yes. Yeah. The massive lazy, lazy people like me <laughs> after a long day at Universal. So, like we said, this is not a how to do. Uh, do, 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 all right, like we said, this is not a how-to on Universal or anything, but I think you can treat it like anything. Just like we treat our travel itinerary um, with big dots and little dots. Yep. You have to go into it with a plan. And thankfully we had Layla here. She did job, all of Layla. our planning. Because if you don't go into this with a plan, you're just gonna wander around this place aimlessly. Just like you wander around America aimlessly if That's you didn't true. have some goals. Good point. So set your big goals on this is what we really want to do, and then everything else is just fun and filler at right. that point. And for us, that was going and checking out the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Yes. And um, seeing like we chose one like attraction, one ride that we wanted to see there. Layla had the Universal app, so we knew what the wait times were, which was very helpful for each ride and then we kind of like moved from there and just like national parks or anything you get up there you get there early that's right the earlier you can get to some place the better it's gonna be easier because there's just less people so the ride we wanted to hit was a forbidden journey 
and it was 10 minutes. Just a quick 10 minute wait because yep. we hit it first. Okay. The waiting times are what it. really <laughs> kill you at parks like that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And just like we've said in, in previous videos before, one of our favorite things about any location that usually has a lot of people is seeing it at night when there's much less people. Yes. So one of our favorite parts of all yesterday, that was Lily's favorite part for specifically, was seeing the park at night and walking around while things are emptying and the lights are on. It was just so much fun. Yeah, diagonally at night, because that's how you envision it in the True. movie. If you've watched Harry Potter, you yep. see it. It's usually at night. Um, and then, uh, what's the... And Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade was really night. cool at night. And then one of the reasons why we stayed late was to be able to see the light show that goes off on Hogwarts, which was really, really cool. It's very short, goes every 20 minutes after dusk, but it was so fun. So tonight is another night activity that we're doing. We're trying to hit two different night things. Where you want to go and see Pandora at night, because we've been to Animal Kingdom before when we came with our friend Cheryl, who like took us around all of Disney. Um, but we've heard that it just is really cool to see at night. So we want to see Pandora, and then we want to go and actually see, like we talked about, watching the fireworks at Magic Kingdom. Yes. So uh, we've never been to Magic Kingdom before. Girls. Yes. It's my turn to ramble. It's your turn to ramble. <laughs> I'm just rambling. Okay. <laughs> just How much ramble talk. do you want? Now, what uh, what was your favorite? Oh, Sand Hill Cranes. I thought that was oh, someone Sandhill. bending over. Wow. These birds are so They're huge. They're so big. <laughs> All right. Girls. Again. Squirrel. <laughs> 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 well, the night stuff. That was my favorite. Yeah, seeing walking it all at night. around at night, there's not enough. But I like seeing pool. it first in, in the day. In the day. day. So you yeah. can okay. see what it is and then kind of guess at what it's going to be at night and then it might be different. Because the I lights agree. might be a different color. It, I like right. Nocturne Alley. That was <sighs> yes, cool. That, that was, was really very cool. Very neat. Very neat. Take, like take the time to <laughs> explore. The details for everything yeah. are so cool and Lily kept on saying that and I'm, I'm stealing her ramble. You're stealing you guys, it. you're stealing my ramble. <laughs> you got your ramble, you should never steal a woman's ramble. <laughs> what about you, Layla? I really like Diagon Alley. It was just really, again, detailed and I just liked it. It was just made you feel like you were in Harry Potter. That, I I concur. That was, that was my favorite part of the whole day. Just simply going through the, that little like tunnel or whatever and then open it up. It just, yeah, I think that's the best part. It looks like nothing's uh, there. There were people that were lost and they kept asking for directions and like the actors are not allowed to tell where it is because they're supposed to act like they don't know about Harry Potter. Uh, so they're supposed okay. to pretend they're muggles and it was really it's funny. It's just a this, good experience. This poor woman didn't understand what the guy was saying. She's like, so where is it that you get in? And he's like, what are you I don't know. About? There's people walking around with robes down there. You should follow them. <laughs> <laughs> so Dude, was really he was hilarious and she was not understanding what was going on. So our day obviously was incredible. We're very excited about today and we have Mike to thank for that. One of our FOS crew members and he gifted us the tickets and we are just so grateful for the memories that we made as a family there. So thank you so much, Mike and Kathy. It's that amazing. was such a sweet, sweet gift. Um, and we are and it's still giving. To, we're looking forward to the rest of the gift. That's right. Uh, the rest of the gift as we go float down the lazy river. See, these are the details. It makes it fun. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Oh, this is going to be fun. Of things together as a family and some of them have been scary but 
that ride right there is the scariest thing we've ever done together. The lady at the top, she's like, oh, yeah, I guess you're close to the weight. She's like, hold she on goes, tight. Hold on tight. He, no joke, went to the top of that curve on both sides. We watched a bunch of people do it, and they like went, they just went on, we're like, oh, that will be OK. And then we went, and we were like, <laughs> <laughs> if we had had Jess, <laughs> Jess screams at everything, and she was not screaming for this because she was legit terrified. <laughs> <laughs> like, no sound would come out of my mouth. Like, off the ride, and we just started laughing. <laughs> oh. Here comes the wave. Here comes the wave. Unfortunately, you cannot film here at all. All these rides you can't film. Right. Just because there's so many moving parts, and if you lost the camera. I mean, I get it. It sucks because it would be cool footage, but... We actually got booted because somebody lost their like wristband. Yeah, so. somebody lost their wristbands. We got some footage, but this place is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is. They'll have to really take our fun. word for it, uh, or maybe just read the smiles on our face. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the beginning. Of the All right, they're gonna go catch the wave. They're gonna go catch the wave. All right. Hold I'm on. Going with you anyone with them? Okay, as you can see, that was not Pandora or Magic Kingdom. Or Magic Kingdom. <laughs> we have really good friends that you guys have met before, Jeff and Katie from Maine, and they're here and they were staying at Fort Wilderness and invited us to come and hang out with them for dinner. And you can actually see the show beautifully from the lake at Fort Wilderness. So we were able to go over and watch the whole fireworks show. We had this whole beach to ourselves and yeah, just hung awesome. out with our friends. It was and these amazing. are our friends um, from Maine. You need to stop by their store. They have the lobster yes. shack. So. The next time you're in Maine, make sure you get out to Cape Elizabeth to see them at Two Lights. It was awesome to get to see Jeff and Katie tonight. Thank you so much for having us. And I think that wraps up our couple days of yeah. Universal <laughs> and Disney. Pandora and Magic Kingdom will be there later, yep. uh, but you don't see your friends every day. so That's right. Well worth the detour. Yeah.